Tanya Whaler and I'm here with Focus on the Community talking today with Jessica Clausen and Serena Garvin and about the Siouxland Sleep Out being held this November 16th. Uh, Jessica, what is exactly the Siouxland Sleep Out? The Siouxland Sleep Out is an event that's held annually in the Siouxland area in order to rate as uh, to raise money and awareness for homelessness and hunger in the tri-state area. Uh, people will sleep overnight at the uh, Explorers Ballpark in tents and boxes. There will be activities held um, as a means of raising awareness and funds. Awesome. How do you become uh, involved with this? Um, whether you want to uh, give money or to just participate in all the activities? Um, you can go to our website at SiouxlandSleepOut.com. Uh, you could call Western Iowa Tech and ask for Tanya Whaler um, and um, get information in regards to getting a packet to raise funds. Um, anyone can come to the Lewis and Clark Ballpark on November 16th um, after 1 o'clock and if you bring two cans of food, you can um, eat and participate in all of the fun activities that will be going on throughout the afternoon, evening, and into the night. That sounds really fun. Um, how long has Siouxland Sleep Out been held? This is the third year of the Siouxland Sleep Out. Wow. <clears throat> how much um, has it grown um, over the years that it's from the beginning? Originally, uh, our first year we had around 100 participants. Um, the second year we had around 200 participants, and this year we're looking at close to or over 300 participants. Wow. And the sleep, sleep outs occur all across the country. And so it's really exciting that this part of the country is, um, part, is engaging in sleep outs also. Um, you talked about the activities exactly. What specifically is going to happen that night and evening? When does it start on November 16th at the Explorer Stadium? Serena, this is your <coughs> area of expertise. Um, actually, we will start, um, people can come in and start setting up uh, their tents or boxes um, around, uh, most people start about 5 o'clock. Um, that's when most people get off work. But there will be people there at 1 o'clock. Um, well, food will be ready around 5, which is um, going to be nice. There's, there'll be chili, um, some soups. Um, we have lots of cookies and bars coming. Um, that evening we'll have the, uh, some fire pits set up. Um, so it'll be a way of staying warm as well as being able to make s'mores which will be fun. Um, I've heard that we'll be having Guitar Hero there for those <laughs> people who like to play that game. Um, and with possibility of having some karaoke wow. for people to participate in that. And then um, really fun. we do have some live music. Um, we like to do lots of um, uh, campfire sing-along songs, which is fun. And then there's a band that will play, um, which is, gets a little difficult, I think, for them because sometimes it is really cold. Um, and I looked ahead at the forecast and it looks like it's going to be really chilly <laughs> and with um, a slight chance of snow, so it um. might be a little interesting. Um, but we do have a really good time and we stay warm. We've got hot cocoa and coffee, so it should be a good time. What's the determining factor on who gets to stay the, for the whole evening throughout the night and then those that leave earlier in the day? Is there I think Something. part of that is um, people who have just decided that they want to spend the night and then those people have gotten a packet and they've gone out and gotten um, sponsors and those are people who have donated money um, for them to stay overnight. <clears throat> um, with the uh, sleeping out part, um, do you, can you bring a, an electric blanket? Hmm. <laughs> I've, I've heard a few people say that they are going to bring an electric blanket. Um, I'm okay. not quite sure where they're going to plug that in at. Though. Not exactly <laughs> any <laughs> plug-ins. Um, one thing with the, how, when people donate, what percentage goes to the homeless of this community, our Sioux land? Um, that is 100% will stay right here in our community. Wow. Um, and you know, 
one of the things I think that's important to remember is that there are, we don't have administration fees or things that come off the top of that. Um, the Mental Health Association of Siouxland is a volunteer organization, so we don't have staff that's being paid to plan the events or anything like that's that. That's tremendous. So. It's all volunteer. Mm -hmm. Well, um, we're coming uh, to a break, and we'll be right back. Welcome back to Focus on the Community. I'm Tanya Whaler and I'm back again with Jessica Clausen and my other guest I wanted to get to is Kurt Eckerman. And um, leading into the um, more questions about Sleep Out, <coughs> Siouxland Sleep Out on November 16th, where do the funds go to specifically, the organizations that they help? The funds that are raised through the, Sioux, um, the Siouxland Sleep Out event go to the um, organizations in Sioux, the Siouxland area that provide services to homeless individuals. Um, Schessler Hall, um, Henry Muller Hall, mm -hmm. um, and the food that's raised goes to those organizations as well as to um, the Gospel Mission. And funds also go to um, Siouxland Mental Health. These are all agencies that provide services to homeless individuals to assist them in transitioning to non-homelessness. That's awesome. Um, a few questions uh, for you, Kurt, is have, I know from talking to you that you were homeless uh, a few times in your life. And just to ask you, because do you directly benefit from these uh, fundraising from the uh, Siouxland Sleep Out, does it, how does it affect you and benefit you? Yeah, I, I benefit uh, quite a bit because I do live at Henry Mueller Hall and uh, the money that's collected through the Sleep Out uh, pays for the everyday expenditure that, that goes on at Henry Mueller Hall for because a lot of the time the guys that come there can't afford rent. Um, um, they take care of the rent for them until they get on their feet. Uh, it's, it's mainly, I mean, they, 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 they pay for uh, everything that's needed in the house, but it's a place for guys that are coming off the streets that, uh, whose self-esteem is it might be kind of low and, uh, you know, it's, uh, being homeless is a, a pretty undignified way to live. And so, for me personally, being in the Henry Mueller Hall, that really pretty much saved my life. I mean, I was, I was pretty suicidal before I came in there. and. You know, being there has, has given me a chance to get on my feet and get, you know, build up my self-esteem. And, you know, to see the people working as hard as they are on this project, uh, uh, it just humbles me because uh, most of the people that work on this have never been homeless, but yet they, you know, they're, they're somehow connected to the homeless. Uh, I myself have been homeless on and off for the last 10 years, and I've seen what it does to uh, women and children in, in entire families, and uh, it's hard for people to be homeless. It's hard to ask for help, but uh, uh, I think this is a wonderful, a wonderful thing. Uh, the the originator of this thing, Sleep Out Bob, is going to be here this year. He's a guy from Minnesota that kind of started this thing. So I'm really excited. This is me, my first sleep out, and and. Uh, as a consumer of uh, of what this they've they've had to offer, I'm really excited about being able to give back. I'm so. really excited too because this will be my first time yeah. coming, and I'm looking forward to the karaoke and the guitar hero that they'll have for the yeah. children, and just drinking coffee all mm -hmm. night and getting buzzed and having a great time, mm -hmm. fellowship and singing, and just knowing that we're doing a service and for the community. Mm -hmm. It's tremendous. So you actually haven't experienced, um, I mean, just with uh, Project uh, Restore, um, are you with, affiliated with that? Have you? Project Restore, too. I have a caseworker that's actually uh, a gal down there was, who got me into Henry Hall, and, and this Sleep Out also funds their, their uh, um, the group of people that run Project Restore. and. Uh, so I'm actually I actually benefit in, in a couple of different ways, just living in the house and also uh, 
having a caseworker that helps me, takes me to some of the appointments that I have. Um, uh, her job is funded through this too, and, and uh, like I say, it's, uh, it's pretty amazing to watch people that uh, um, are just, don't have to do this and they're just doing it, you know. Uh, I, I, like I say, I've been for 10 years on off homeless and, and have been around parts of the country and it's, uh, it's worse now than than you can even imagine and uh, something needs to be done about it and, and uh, actually the people that are homeless really aren't in a position to do a lot about it you mm -hmm. know I mean there some of them have uh, mental problems some of them have substance abuse problems uh, there they just have different different problems uh, domestic abuse problems so you know to have people in this community reach out and, and uh, uh, and get something like this going and not just doing it one time, but uh, making it an, uh, in an uh, annual event, uh, I think is pretty amazing. It says a lot about the Sioux City people of Sioux City. Yeah. The, the, canned, the, the canned food that's donated with um, this fundraising, does it go to each organization, the uh, Henry Muller House and the Project Restore and the Gospel Mission and the Women Children's Shelter? Mm -hmm. Is it all contributed? to each and you know where where specifically like the gospel mission the gospel mission um, the food bank um, primarily it receives the canned goods although they are uh, distributed throughout all of the organizations the food bank um, runs out of food periodically and it has run out of food approximately a month and a half ago so this will help replenish um, their supply so that people in need, the homeless um, and the near homeless are able to receive nutrition. So when <coughs> on November 16th there is going to be a fabulous time of fellowship and singing and just the community coming together and just knowing that there are people in Siouxland that are really hurting. I think that it's just wonderful and I'm glad you both came and Serena came and I thank you all for being here and just to um, re recap uh, you can um, go to the internet at www.sulansleepout.com and you can also contact me at Western Iowa Tech and we can get you packets for sponsorship if you'd like to just participate and come. I'd be more than happy to, to help in any way. And um, the Siouxland Sleep Out is for, for those who just need a little help. And I hope the community, the Siouxland community, makes this an even better and grander thing than it has been in the past. Thank you for joining us here at Focus on the Community. My name is Tanya Whaler. Have a good super day.